Hello, it's Christmas 2022 and my wife happens to be at work tonight. God bless her. Uh, and I just thought, well, you know, I'd like to do a fun project. So here it is. Um, this is not going to take more than a couple of minutes to explain. What I did was I took a pizza box. So you can see this is a just a regular pizza box that I cut cut up. And this is how you can make a chessboard in probably five to ten minutes. You can have this uh, chessboard set up and you can just have fun with, with your friends that maybe you didn't bring a chessboard. Maybe you, you met somebody that likes to play chess. So here we go. We've got the uh, pizza box. And uh, really, I just took one half of the pizza, pizza box. And I took this uh, this half and uh, I just basically divided it up. So I've got A to H, 1 to 8. So you can see this is really easy to set up because you just simply start to mark it here and then center here, center here, and you end up with 8. And then you just draw the lines. So all you need really is your pair of scissors and your pen. And if you have one, a marker. And you can see you end up with this part of the pizza box. Um, it's all marked with the letters and numbers. And so where there are white squares, it's it's clear. White squares go on diagonals like that. So everywhere there's a black square, you put a mark, just a little signature mark where the black squares are. Uh, the two main things, the queen always goes on her own color. So this is the white queen. It goes on to the white square. And then you can set up all the pieces. Rook, knight, bishop, king, queen, bishop, knight, rook. All of these are pawns, so they don't need uh, any marking. Um, and these all came from the same pizza box. So yes, I cut up these, these little squares. Uh, and just only had to mark these. And I used the white part of the box for the white pieces. And then these are what would be known as the black pieces. Well, in this case, they're brown. And... So here we have the same setup, and as you can see, the queen is on her own color. So the black queen goes on the black square. Then you can set up all the pieces accordingly. Bishop, knight, rook. Bishop, knight, rook. And you're ready to go. So this really didn't take me, this little project uh, took me just about five and uh, in five minutes uh, to do a little video and away you go. The beauty of this little setup here is that you can actually use this for chess or checkers. Now if you're new at chess, uh, simply I can show you typically white will move first. This is a very common move for white and then black it's a very common move to copy. And then they progress from there. The knights can move out. And there are many, many variations. But you can have the knight moving out. And it moves in an L shape. You can have a knight moving out. So as a copy, the knight does the same thing over here. And the knight by the L shape is protecting its pawn. Bishops can come out on a diagonal. So you can move your bishop out. And then they can do the same if they want. Just move the bishop out. There we go. And you just simply keep your, your pieces on their square proper squares. So there you go, that is 
basically the game of chess out of a pizza box. Look at that. So I hope you'll enjoy. Look at that. There's the pizza box. There are the extra pieces that came out of the pizza box. Enjoy. And if you want to play checkers, you can just turn them all to white pieces or all to brown pieces. And away you go. Thank you.